I go to law school. I don't find love. Um, and fast forward three years, I get a phone call from one of my dear friends who has stayed in the Delta, who's still involved in Helena nonprofit work. And he says to me, Michelle, you had Patrick as a student, didn't you? My first thought is that Patrick has died because I've had students pass away before. But my friend says to me, um, Patrick has gotten into a fight and killed someone. And I am devastated. I don't believe it, because I've had violent students, but he was not violent in my class. He was, he never bullied. When two students got into a fight, he broke up their fight. So I was struggling to understand how it happens that somebody nonviolent ended up in prison. I thought it had to be a mistake. I fly back three days after he's arrested, and I visit him in jail. And he tells me that it's true, he did get into, a, get into a fight and kill someone. At the end of law school, I met again at a crossroads, and I'm thinking to myself, what if I had stayed? It sounds arrogant to say that somebody's life would be different if I had stayed, but if you know a rural area, you know that there's not many people. You know that relationships are what people are thirsting for. And you know also that dropouts are more likely to commit crime. That just, that makes perfect sense. They don't have school, they don't have structure, they're bored, they get involved, they need a living. Um, so I'm wondering what if I had stayed? Maybe during this ethical dilemma I had three years ago, I became one of the people who um, made the wrong choice. 